Hi everyone. Well, I've got a couple of things to talk about today. Uh, first of all, as you can see, I have continued to make Insta360 Go mounts. Uh, but first, let's talk about these new motors I have. These are the RC InPower 1202.5 6000 6, kV. It's a pretty interesting spec. I think there's also an 11,500 kV version for maybe for uh, 2S. And they're very complete. They come with the motor screws and also propeller screws, but uh, I'm not using them. Uh, in this case, these are the HQ Prop 65mm tri-blades, which I think is a pretty good uh, match for these on 3S. And uh, let's see, inside the frame, we got the Gep RC F411, stable F411, which is a little 16x16 16 16 stack, which, as you can see, fits quite nicely in there. It's even got a little room there for the cap and everything. And I've got the Caddx Baby Rattel in there. And this flew today for just about under three minutes uh, with this little 300 battery. So I think this 300 might be a little bit uh, too small. This, by the way, this quad weighs, uh, I think, about 63 grams. And this battery weighs about 28 grams. So I think the battery, you could go up to a 350 or 400, would probably be about the right size. But uh, flying real nice on this, no complaints, very happy with it. And then uh, that will take me now to the next subject, which are these uh, couple of new mount designs that I came up with. First one you can see here, once you put the 360 in there, you can basically twist it to uh, any angle that you want. And you can also put this mount, for instance, on the front if you want to just have no quad in view, so to speak. So there's this version like this, and then also I made this one, which you can put on the uh, side of things, is what I was thinking, like kind of like a vertical idea. It's pretty versatile, really, because you can, can be like this, or you can have it all the way in the back, or towards the front. And then, again, just like with the other one, once you put the camera in, you can tilt it to pretty much any angle, so you can match the FPV camera. And one thing I wanted to try today, and I did, and I think it was actually turned out pretty well, was I just had the camera for one moment just pointed straight down, just to capture the uh, a takeoff. So that was cool. So then after I did that, I landed, and then I put the camera, just had the camera pointed uh, backwards and recorded a flight, you know, going the other way. I have the files for this and the other one, as always, they're on Thingiverse, and I also even have a few for sale on Shopify, because I feel kind of bad just like showing you these things, but not really having any way for anybody to get them, so I have put a few up for sale, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, anyway, I think what I'll leave you with is just the little, I think it's about a, just under a three minute flight I had with this, checking out these uh, RCN Power 1202.5 motors, and uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.